Hi guys, my name is Ferdy Korpshoek and in this video I will show you how to create coupon codes in WordPress using WooCommerce. I want to give some discount to people using coupon codes. How can you use them? Go to the backend of your website to WooCommerce coupons over here. So let's add our first coupon by clicking this button. I call this one 10%. You can give a description, get 10% off using this coupon code. And you have three tabs over here, general, what kind of discount is it? It's percentage, fixed car discount or fixed product discount. So, so it can be fixed amount of money or fixed product discount. So it can be discount for a certain product. I will use percentage. The amount is 10%. A coupon code gives you the possibility to give a free shipping by checking this. And if someone puts 10%, then they will get free shipping. So you could also say free shipping here and then leave this empty and also check this. You can select a certain time for a coupon code, for instance, within 48 hours. So it can be until the sixth in two days. Let's take a look at restrictions. You can say the coupon code will be available with a minimum amount spent of $20 or a maximum of $100. You can say if you use this coupon code, you cannot use any other coupon code anymore. So I check this. So they cannot say I want 10% off and then I want $10 off and then they use three different coupon codes and get a lot of discount. So check this if you want this to be the only option for a coupon code. You can exclude sale items. So I have a few sale items here. Those two, you can exclude them. I don't do that. And you can also assign the coupon code to certain products or you can exclude products. So maybe you want to give discount to all the products except for the Skype session. And then you can say exclude Skype. And click this one or product categories or exclude categories or email restrictions. So for some customers, you can say customer 30 at Gmail will not get any discount with this coupon code. I go to the third tab usage limits. You can say this coupon code can be used for 10 times. So you can send an email to your email list. You can say, you know what? The next 10 people get a discount of 10% when they use this coupon code. So go to the store quickly. Otherwise you will be too late. You can also say the discount will be only available for maximum of three items. So if I buy five items, then I will get discount on only three items. And I can say you can use it only one time per user or unlimited times per user. I publish it. I refresh the card. We have an order of $15 and I say 10% apply coupon. Now it's still 15 over here, but if I scroll down, it says coupon 10% and 10% $1.50 will be the discount. So now it's a total of $13.50. Let's add another one, add a coupon code. And this one is $10, get a discount of $10. The discount type is fixed, the amount is 10, you can say allow free shipping and everything is fine with me. This works for everybody and it has no limits. So I say publish and because at the 10 percent coupon, we said it can only be used as one code. So there can no second code be applied. If I type this in over here, $10, apply it. It says, sorry, coupon code 10% has already been applied and cannot be used in conjunction with other coupon codes. So I remove this one and I go for $10, apply coupon, and now it's only $5. So that's how it works. One other option, ebook, get discount on the ebook. And I say fixed product discount of $10 use restriction. 
only for the product. How? This one. No exclusion because this is the only one included. So the rest is excluded automatically. And let's see what happens. I publish it. So if I go to my cart, I will continue shopping. I at the Skype session and this hoodie. And I want to view the card right now. And I want to apply the coupon code ebook. And let's see what happens. You see, the coupon ebook can be in conjunction with the $10 because we have no restrictions. And it says $10 discount. But if I remove the ebook, it says it is invalid. So only when somebody buys the ebook, then you can apply the coupon code. So in that way you can assign a coupon code to a certain product. I want to thank you for watching this video. If this was valuable to you in any way, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos about internet marketing, making websites, using WordPress, using MailChimp or other stuff. My name is Freddy Korpsuk and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.